Hello, welcome to Java Programming Tutorials, Chapter 25, Getter and Setup Methods, brought to you by Anchor Technologies. My name is Harish. So in this session, we are going to learn about the encapsulation in Java and how to achieve encapsulation and the benefits of encapsulation. So first, let us understand what is encapsulation. Encapsulation is one of the four fundamental OOPS concepts, okay, which includes abstraction, uh, inheritance, etc. and it's one among them. So what do you mean by encapsulation? It is a mechanism of wrapping the variables and methods of a class together as a single unit. Okay, This is called encapsulation. So why do we need to encapsulate the data which is present inside the class? We should not expose it to the external world, the logic what we write. So at that point of time, we have to make use of encapsulation. So here is an example, here is a concept like data hiding. Through encapsulation of the variables of a class will be hidden from the other classes and they can be accessed to the methods of their current class only. So let me show you like how to encapsulate the fields which are present inside the class. So to do that, we need to understand these steps. To achieve encapsulation, the first thing what you need to do is you need to declare the variables of a class as private. Okay, so now, now let me show you like when I make the variables of a class as a private, what, what will happen? So let me jump into Eclipse and here I have a sample Java which is having a main method and employee class which is having the class, um, class structure already. So what I'll do is I'll just define public int id public string name string department okay now what I can do is I can create object of the class employee okay e dot I can access the ID and I can assign the value Lame as one not one. Okay, you can assign the value as one not one. Okay, similarly, I can assign the name value. department development so this all the things what I can do when I when my fields are public I can access them to the other class for example we are, these fields are present in the class employee but I'm accessing it in the class sample so let me dot out dot ln I can tell like e dot id similarly what I can do is I can copy it and I can paste it below but I have to replace them with these fields and the object copy it and let me paste it here and now let me run the program when I do that it's going to print one not one sam and development okay but what I do is right now we need to encapsulate this field we should not allow these fields to be available to the class sample okay so to do that the first step what we need to do is we need to make the fields as private okay now let me copy this let me do it for the rest of the fields present here so when I do that when I go back here okay here you can observe very clearly we are getting a red squiggly telling like okay the field employee is not visible because it is private in the sense these fields are visible are accessible and we can modify anything related to this field only within the class but not outside the class so at that point of time what we can do is we can make use of okay at that point of time what we can do is we can make use of a beautiful concept called encapsulation and to achieve encapsulation we need to make use of getter and setter methods so what is getter and setter methods getter and setter methods using getter and setter methods we can assign the value to them and we can get them back so first let me write a getter and setter method to the id so what I need to do is first let me write a setter method to it to id so public void set id okay 
set id and now uh, to the set id i can i should pass variable so here what i need to tell is i need to tell like the small id is equal to this capital id okay this is what the set okay this set id method what it does is you can set the value to that this field so once i pass as parameter that will be assigned to this field similarly if i need to get them back it's very simple public int so it's going to return the id so this is what the get and setup method this is the set method and this is the get get method so set method is used to set the value to this field with within that class itself and so now let me show you so what i'll do is i'll come here i'll tell e dot set id i'll pass it as 101 now if i need to get them back it's very simple to get it so let me check out like what is the error right now this is the error and again this is the error so and here is the error so now what I can tell is e dot set id 101 and now I need to make use of system dot out dot print ln I need to tell like e dot get id so now when I run the program when I run the program it's going to print 101 so this is how you can assign you can protect your fields okay with the help of encapsulation to achieve encapsulation the first thing we need to make our fields and the methods as private the second thing we need to make use of getter and setter methods so we need to do now I've done it for ID we have to do it for name and department but uh, it takes some time to do that but I'll show you a shortcut like how to how to get the set and get methods very in very simple manner so click here somewhere in your panel and go to source and you click here like generate getter and setters so automatically you'll get a panel telling like for which all the fields you need to generate like id department and name otherwise you can click select all then you have to click ok so here you can observe very clearly these things are being generated right now okay for id name as well as department so i can go back here and i can set like e dot set name i can set it as sam and again i can come like e dot set department it is human resource or development okay similarly i can copy this and i have to paste it here below and now i need to get them back the fields so get name and this is get department so now when I run I'll get the same output like 101 Sam and development so it is print ln the print it prints in the same line but print ln it takes to the new line for you so you can observe here very clearly so this is what about okay the encapsulation so for, to achieve encapsulation we need to make the fields private and then we have to make use of cater and setter methods so the benefits is the fields of a class can be made read only or write only okay and a class can have complete control over what is stored in its fields okay for example um, the pass mark is fixed is fixed it will be not modified or like uh, so let me tell like private string email so this field is fixed it will be it should not be changed so at that point of time we need to write only the getter method not the set method so let me tell like sam at gmail dot com so this is the field which needs only the setter method getter method so at that point of time what I can do is I can just tell like okay get email return email okay 
is not string of type string so now what I can do is I can just call it but I can't assign the value to it so this is called read only property so email is read only property now so when I run the program it's going to print the email ID also but I can't assign a value to it so let me show you like e dot we don't have anything like set email so we can't assign a value to it so that's the thing like you can make your field read only or write only a class will have complete control over what is stored in its fields yes that's the reason we will make use of these fields the getter and setter methods to achieve that encapsulation i hope you understood like what is encapsulation why we have to use it okay so finally thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to our youtube channel like boat training you can also like our facebook page visiting this url you can also follow us on twitter for further reference to our website we are on linkedin too last but not the least please don't forget to give the feedback thank you have a great day